Yes! You are... You are ripped! Look at you go! Okay, avert your eyes, fam. Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Grounded. Now, I've been exploring around the map a little bit, discovering a few new bugs, and the, the pattern of the game so far seems to be kill a new thing, learn new crafting recipes, and so, I am on a hunt today, oh my lord, to die, apparently. I am on a, <laughs> I am on a mission of death. Holy god, those guys hit hard. I'm boiled by a bombardier beetle, so I'm gonna try and fight as much as possible today. Because I feel like, I feel like that's the way forward. Now, where the hell did I just die? That was pathetic. Let's try it again. I wonder how susceptible these dudes are to arrows. If I get an arrow at you right now. They seem to they seem to be chilling over by this rock. Up. Let's go, let's go. I don't like being chased. Man, they spotted me fast. Who was chasing me? I didn't even I didn't even stop to look. Is it the bug? Where's the bug? That does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he actually didn't come for me. Like, he got aggroed, but he didn't come for me. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get in a stun real quick. Because I think with this sprig, this, yeah, this club, there's a chance. Ugh. He's like right on top of me, isn't he? Where the hell did he go? Uh, thank God for this first person view. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Whoa. Whoa, he gets mad. Good thing his pathfinding ain't so hot. Thank God for small favors. <laughs> Damn. So, yeah, you don't want that acid. That's for sure. So, the jumping and swinging doesn't seem to be working too well. But he seems to be keeping to the top of the rock. So, spit. Spits. And then... And then we can fight. I blocked him! I blocked him! I blocked him! I blocked... Wait. What's he doing? Is he... Is he bugged? He might be bugged. Getting the hits in now while I can. I don't know. He's bugged. I don't care. I'm killing him. <laughs> I'm just smacking that ass. Oh, man. This is a bit unfair, but you know what? It's friggin' beetles in a yard. I can kill him. I do not feel remorse. I do not feel remorse. Yay! We killed him. Bit unfairly, but we did it. Bombardier part. Look at that. Insect axe. New crafting. Okay. Tell me we don't have to kill more of them. Please tell me I don't have to do that anymore. An explosive gland. Bombardier part. Wow. Okay. So, how do we make that axe? Axe, 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 axe. Where is it? Ah, here we go. Insect axe. Insect hammer. Wow, that unlocked two recipes. Looks like... We got all the bombardier parts. Bombardier parts. We're gonna need some more silk and... No. No, you can't make me do it. No, game. Why do you need... Why do you need a ladybug head for an axe? You're gonna make me kill a completely harmless... Oh, man. Is this gonna be the name of the game? Just kill ev absolutely everything? I gotta kill a ladybug? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh man. Okay, let's go find a ladybug and and murder it as quickly and gracefully as possible. God, that's awful. Whoa. I don't know what that was all about. Oh, weevil. What? I'm taking the meat. I'm taking it. Sorry, spooters. Spooters? You guys know your spooters? Anyone ever tell you that? Yeah, probably not. Ooh, so check it out. 
These are the thistles? No, they're not. What the hell are they? Dandelions? Can I chop them? I chop dandelions. I thought these were the thistles because I saw the spiky uh, leaves. Okay. The heck? Weed st weed stems. <gasps> weed stems. Weed stems. Yes. You are. You are ripped. Look at you go. Look at you go. I'm bringing these weed stems all the way back to my base. I've been looking for these. I can run with weed stem. With look at all that crap I can run with. Awesome. I thought I was going to have to chop down some of those weeds to make the insect axe, and I still will, but this will be nice for getting started on uh, on the roof and the door. Might be able to finish the door. I think that was all I needed. What the hell is this? This looks like a giant ant. It's not, but, you know. Okay, so I need to be chopping down dandelions, like, forever. This is amazing. Can I unload them here? No, I don't think so. Wait, if I unload with G? No, I can't do that on the, uh, I can't do that on the grass plank. There's, there might be a weed plank. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, so actually, I'm gonna try using them right away for the door. Can I do that? Hell yes! And I can use them for the roof as well. Still missing some clover leaves. That's cool. But each one of these roof spots needs weed stems. Oh, I see. It's like foundation. I see what's going on there. Cool! Okay, that's all the weed stems. But I did see another dandelion over there. Oh, man, I'm so tempted to go start building again. Wait. Can I open? Yeah! We got a house, y'all. It's a little it's a little short of an opening, but YOLO. Wait, I, I just accidentally I just accidentally hit this button. Toggle trail, backpack markers, give feedback, open map, open crafting, open inventory. That's pretty cool. Wait, how did I just do that? Was that executables? Wait a minute. X? No, that's recycle. C? No, that's craft. Z? Z is executables. Cool. So you got the hot pouch, which is V, for like quickly selecting something. Interesting. Oh, I need weed stems for this. It'd be nice to start growing some shrams eventually. Do I have, I have some meat to cook up, right? Yeah, yeah, gnat and weevil meat. So let's fire this bad boy up. Wait, do I have a torch? Apparently not. Dry grass chunk. All right, so I'll make a cool torch. I'm gonna cook up this meat. Actually, can I put the meat on the Oh, I don't need a torch to... Works for me. Works for me. So, oh yeah, I just do this. Cool. Do I not need a... I don't need a torch to fire this up. That's great. What do you need? You need acorn shells. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let's go grab some water. Wait, did I leave any water in here? I did. Can't mix different liquids. Wait, what was I trying to do? Do I have anything in here? Cool! How much did I collect? That, it's enough! Awesome! So, like, I probably don't have any, any left. But cool, I can collect dew and bring it back to... Uh, bring it back to that water container. That's pretty sweet. Oh, can I knock... Wait. He didn't despawn. Sometimes, I've, I've been no noticing, sometimes these water droplets will just despawn in front of you. I'm going to scoop this. Our meat should probably be ready by now. Let's go back and check. Oh, and let's grab this clover leaf and a grass plank. I don't think there was anything else to build with the grass plank. No, no, no. Stack. There we go. But the clover leaves, I need those for the roof. I'm gonna need a lot of clover leaves for that roof. Hey, buddy, you're not... don't totally belong here. That roast. Oh, you come in to, uh, eat, don't you? You know what? Wow, you can just, like, stun these dudes before they get a chance to do anything. Oh, was this dandelion always here? Just right in the middle of... No, it couldn't have been. I don't remember seeing it, but cool. More uh, more weed stems. I'll take it. Be nice to get a new axe, because this does not up... This is not chopped very well, and it eats up my... Uh, my... Stamina. Got this dandelion tuft. I don't know what to do with these. But I'm sure they're used for something. Picked up a glider. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh. Shift. Hey, do you mind? Do you friggin' mind? Wait a minute. If I... How does this work? Wait, how does this work? 
Wait, which shift button are we talking? <gasps> oh! 10 out of 10! I got a glider! I got a glider! I guess I gotta jump from a certain height. Like, Wow! That's amazing! That's gonna make traveling really fun. <laughs> Alright, clover leaves. I'm getting distracted by the weed stems, which I suddenly have without upgrading my axe. Just take it, take it. Let's get some clovers. Alright, I suppose I should make a mild effort to organize some of my loot. And it seems to be falling under two categories. Uh, 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 uh. Building materials and mob loot. So I'm going to try and organize it as such. I hear you, Nat. You can bite me a couple times if you want. Yeah, see, this stuff... This stuff doesn't have to be in mob loot, but like... All the, the mob loot stuff, it does take up a lot of space, so yeah, I'll leave this stuff in here. Okay, alright. That doesn't actually hurt my health. Noticing. Can I fix this? No, I need more woven fiber. I need to get in the habit of just like, as I, as I walk around, pick up plant fiber, and then as soon as I get three, just like, craft a woven fiber. You know what I'm saying? So like, find one, as soon as I find a third one, oop, tab, spacebar, back to the game. So I can just accumulate woven fiber, because it seems to be, we seem to be, we seem to be using that a lot more than the actual plant fiber, so I could just like, craft that as I go. But yeah, cool, I've got, you can't really see it, because I don't have a torch out here. Actually, I should, I should make a, uh, oh, I should killed you. Yeah, I should make some light out here. I think there was a, yeah, there, there were a few, like, stationary light sources. Let me see if I can find one. Plant lamp. Stationary light source that illuminates the area around it. That's cool. What if I do, like, there? That's pretty cool. I dig it. Are they reusable? Like, do I have to refill it with sap or something? That's awesome, though. I, I really like that. Yep, the house is coming along. I'm going to sleep for now. Oh, I can't sleep yet. I always like try and sleep like five to ten minutes before my bedtime. All right, let's go TF2 sleep now. Hey, I'm gonna fall asleep standing up if we go. I feel like longer. I accomplished a lot that day. God, did I really sleep right next to that? Oh, the roast spoiled. Gross. All right. Well, this. Okay, I guess I can ditch it now. Ooh, I can do some custom markers. So since this is the building basket, can I do, like, I guess it would be natural resources building. Axe. It's kind of Axian. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so there's there's for building stuff. And this will be for mob loot. So this should have... Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Anything else I want to put in here? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Custom markers are awesome. And what could this be? This could be like... I don't know. Food? Food stuff? Food and glider? <laughs> Well, food. Perfect. Give that a yellow, a yellow tint. That's pretty cute. Pretty nice. Okay, time to get out and I guess go hunt a friggin' ladybug because that's the that's the vibe right now. Oh man, it's too bad that the cooked bug meat spoils when you go to sleep. Like it's it's almost an automatic thing. It seems a little unfair because you lose a bunch of hunger when you sleep. So it seems yeah it's. Seems like you should be able to eat some cooked meat when you uh, when you wake up in the morning, but I don't know. Maybe you're expected to cook the meat in the morning, but the meat also seems to spoil quickly. I'm just looking for some dewdrops in the trees right now. Hello, friend. Oh man, I can't tell you how sad this is gonna make me. I need that axe, but my goodness, why? Why is this so necessary? Why is this necessary? It's the most adorable. Can we ride? Can we ride one more time? One more ride. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I might just edit this out, guys. This is gonna break my heart. Unless unless Ladybug kills me and it's hilarious. Please just yeah. I if, if I would understand if you defend yourself. Believe me, I will I will. Okay, avert your eyes, fam. Okay. Alright. The ladybug can defend itself. I thought it was gonna be like a quick thing. Nope. 
Not in the slightest. Let's go get our stuff back. Yeah, good job, ladybug. I'm still gonna kill you, but... Ugh. Hey, fam. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, I can only hit her, like, once before she attacks me. Damn! Okay, Ladybug. Ladybug can ho actually hold her own. I'm a bit impressed, I must say. You made the mistake of, of picking a spot, like, right next to my respawn point, though. Which is gonna be your fatal mistake. So, I should probably block attacks. Hello! Are you still mad at me? Yep. Oh, maybe it was the ant you were chasing? I can't really tell anymore. I'm, this whole thing is just making me sad. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to drink that. Oh, well. Alright. I blocked that! Oh, man. Well, I'm getting into the kiting habit at least. Oh, man, I thought I blocked. Maybe I hit block two early or something. I don't know. How the hell? Why block? Oh, God, she attacks so fast. Maybe I need a spear for this. Maybe I need something with a little bit of a faster attack. I don't know. What the hell is this? Wait, how do you have this? How do you have these glasses? The heck? That's weird. All right, I'm gonna give this one more go. But <laughs> I wasn't trying to spear the grass. Let's just get out into a. Oh, a mite. Is the ladybug gonna take care of it? Nope. Ladybug, do not care. Wait a minute. Was I not? Oh, my helmet's broken. I need to go get more armor. Man, I, I feel. I don't know. I feel like I need to upgrade some of my some of my gear before I start hunting things that are larger than me. Let's head on back and see uh, what else we can make. I think I've killed a bunch of ants by now, so maybe we can make like some ant armor. I don't know. It actually looks like the acorn armor is pretty decent. Check out the chest plate versus the grub vest. It's better. Are there any other vests? There's just this poncho, which is definitely not as good. Okay, so I will. I'll, I'll, I'll make a. I'll make a chest plate. Actually, I'm wondering if like the full acorn suit is better. Let me see. Let's compare the face mask to the helmet of the ant. It's not as good. Arm guards. Wait, knee guards. It's better than the the ant knee guards. It's better than the grub leggings. All right, so we gotta go get some. Uh, we gotta get some acorn shells, and I, I take it those will be collected over at the tree. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to avoid avoid battle at all costs until we can get some acorn shells. All right, y'all ready? I want to glide. I hope this works. Wait, do I do I have the glider equipped or is it already? Oh, it's already used. It. Oh no, it's not. Oh, because I died. Right. Let's roll. Ready? Let's get a running start, shall we? Yeah, buddy. Hell to the yes. This is how we travel. Oh, a little stuck. This is how we fly. I love it. That's so cool. Gliders. You know, I've just been standing here for a second, and water keeps rolling off from somewhere. I don't know from where, but it keeps rolling down. It's pretty nice. It's like a... Yeah, look, this leaf gets, like, a drop of water every, like, 30 seconds. It's pretty cool. Is it gonna come down? Uh, oh, no. But when another drop comes down, that'll knock it off. I'm just gonna wait here for a second and see. Up oh, there it comes. Up, oh, and it combined. Didn't quite come down. I gotta say, the collection of water and food, like, basic resources to survive... It's way more streamlined in this game than it is in other survival games I've played. Where, like, you spend so much of your time just trying to stay alive. Which, I mean, it is a survival game, that's totally fair. But, it is nice having a little bit more availability of, like, the basic resources in every part of the world. So, at any, any part of this yard I go, there will be a source of water and food somewhere. Whereas in green, I remember when I was playing Green Hell, it's like, you had to have, you had to have, like, three different attributes under control at all times. And you couldn't always find those things in every part of the world. So, like, you had to make sure you had all of those prepared and accounted for before you set off anywhere. 
So it is nice, like, I can stay on- I can stay on target, I can continue questing, even with, uh... Even while managing all of my basic stats. I'm not totally sure what the respawn deal is with these acorns, but there seem to be a lot of them around the tree, so I'm just trying to load up on them now, just to have as many as possible. They're easy to collect, they drop food, which doesn't spoil. At least I don't believe it does, I've never seen acorn bits spoil. And honestly, I'm not totally sure what the benefit is of making, like, harder food items like cooked meats. Is there any benefit to cooking meats versus just eating, you know, raw mushrooms and acorns? I haven't really seen any benefit. Maybe there's like some, some passive healing thing that, uh, that affects the quality of food, but I have yet to notice any of that. I do see another ladybug over there, but I'm gonna gear up before I try to take her on again. There's probably also a better weapon I can make. Figured since I had completed one of the burgle quests, I might as well come back here and grab, grab a new one. So I think there's a new one, yeah, Hunter, uh, aphids, oh man, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, these guys are easy to get, they're just the little, uh, little green dudes, totally smack some aphids around, I get that the, 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 the main goal of these missions is to get you, oh, I didn't even notice this before, there's an analyze spot in here, nothing to analyze, but yeah, the main point of getting you to kill these different enemies is to unlock the things that they drop so that you can figure out the new things that you can craft with those drops. I really should set up a lean-to around here. But I think I have enough time to get back home. You know... Hello, aphid. Oh, hello, spider! Get inside! Get inside, please! Do you, can you glitch in? Can you glitch in? Is this a safe place? This looks like this might be a safe place. Oh, it's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. Can you get inside, really? Tell me you can't. Wait a minute. Oh man, I don't have any uh I don't have any arrows. I could totally pick you off right here. But I will leave you be for now. I wonder if I could build a lean-to inside. That was a little bit terrifying, not gonna lie. That's kind of a death trap right outside. The spiders will have jumped and murdered me in <laughs> numerous instances at this point. Utilities. Lean-to. Can I build it anywhere in here? I mean, it'd be kind of silly to camp out in the science lab, but... What ifs? Am I really... Am I really stuck in here? I don't hear a damn thing. Did I leave anything, like, useful in here? I got some sprigs. I could use those to make a little bit, but I gotta go grab some clover leaves. Yeah. Okay. Let, yeah, let me see what I could... Either I get out of here, or... Jesus! This ass! How am I supposed to get out? How am I supposed to get out? Oh man, what a jerk! Let's give him, let's give him a moment to decide that <laughs> that there's nothing to be had down here. I'm just thankful the spider can't get inside the lab. That would be like, that'd be some SCP shit going on right there. Also, I I hear sounds whenever I'm in this corridor. This is like a death corridor, and I think there's like there's probably some killing happening right above me. Are you gone yet? Tell me you're gone, please. Yeah, he's right up there. Should I make a should I make a run for it? I want high road. I want high ground. Get me up high. I want to see. I want to see the dangers. That stupid spider. Why does he have to chill right there? Why is that important? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I haven't, like, noticed these dandelions until now, but they're, like, a great source of weed stalks. So, cool. I'm gonna head back to my base over there. Actually, could we glide from here? We probably can, and it's gonna be awesome. Here we go! Glide on down. Yeah, so in the next episode, I think I got enough acorn shells to make a full acorn suit. I'm gonna see if I can make a better weapon, and then we will do ladybug attempt number two. 
But anyways, that's it for today's episode. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.